What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to see how fast we can find niches and we're going to see how many we can find in under 10 minutes. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video it's just going to be a bit of KDP niche research. In fact research for colouring books. So what we're going to do is just use Amazon if that's going to load up and then see there we go, just how many niches we can find in around 10 minutes. Now that's gone a little bit weird, but hey ho. Now what we're going to do is find a bunch of niches. We're going to brainstorm to find all of these niches. Just because we find a load of niches doesn't mean that they're going to be profitable. This video is all about brainstorming, just finding all of those niches. Then in a further date, we could go through the niches that we find to actually see if there's any profitable ones. So this is all about brainstorming, just using Amazon to try and find a bunch of niches. So we're already over a minute into this, so let's just get stuck straight in. So what I've gone ahead and done is just typed in colouring books. Because we're browsing, we want to find niches for colouring books. Now you could do this in any type of book, log books, notebooks, sketchbooks, anything like that. But for this instance, again, we're just going to use Amazon. So right off the bat, 100 animals. Animals, that's a niche. So let's do that. Animals, one niche. Then let's just keep going through the first page and then we can actually go through to some of the authors to find even more niches. So this one, Holiday, United States, that could be a colouring book, would have to look deeper. So USA, let's do that. USA, colouring book. We don't need to put colouring book actually because we know the niche. So USA could potentially be a niche. Let's scroll down some more. So baby animals. That could be another one. So we got animals, baby animals. So let's do that. And then right here, actually on the front page, there's an otter. And what can we see here? We can see more keywords or more niches within that title. So let's have a look through that. So we got forests. So a forest coloring book, potentially. Let's type that down. Then we got jungle, a jungle coloring book. I bet some people are searching for that. Then Oceans. Oceans colouring book. I'm guessing that there are going to be people searching for that as well. Again, remember this is all about brainstorming, finding the niches, and then once you've found a list of niches, you can always go back and actually see if there's demand for those niches. So, oceans, farms. Farms, another one. So let's do that. Farms, awesome. Let's just leave this page open for a second so we can come back and actually take a look at the author, see what other niches they're in. But let's go back to here. So now let's take a look at this one, Secret Garden. So magical, that could potentially be a colouring book niche. So magical, magical colouring book. Yep, I can see people searching for that. Now let's go through some more. So let's scroll down past the ad, then right here. So this one, I'm not too sure about that. 50 Shades of Bull. So a swear word colouring book. So let's put swear word. Like that. And there's even more types of swear words. You could put cuss words. Cuss words colouring book. I know there's people searching for that. Then we got the unicorn. So let's type that in as well. So unicorn, just another niche. And there's lots of sub-niche keywords within the unicorn niche as well, which you could spend a lot of time looking up. Now let's scroll down some more. Right to here, so flowers. We can see three books in a row. Mandala, that came to mind when I saw that, so we could type that. So Mandala, and we got flowers. And let's keep scrolling. I think we're almost at five minutes in. We've already got a bunch of niches. So unicorns, rainbows, a rainbow colouring book. I'm guessing that would be a niche. Rainbow. Then we've got mermaids there, mermaids. 
So right off the bat, we already have a bunch of niches, which we can now go and see if there's demand for these books. So let's keep scrolling through. So modern, a modern cottage collection, not too sure, so we'll leave that. Stay away from anything related to Spongebob or anything like that. Melissa and Doug, more baby animals. So that's telling me that the baby animal niche is quite popular. More flowers or bloom? Hmm, that could go under flowers, so I'm going to leave that. Let's keep scrolling through. Then we got Easter. Easter colouring book. Easter's around about a month away now, I believe. So let's just put that in there as well. Easter. Now let's go to here, scroll down, Jumbo. So what's this? One, two, three, colouring pages, large, giant, simple. So simple colouring books. That could be a niche. So simple, let's put that there and keep scrolling down. Now we're almost at that first page. So cactus, cacti, let's do that. Cactus colouring, colouring book. Cactus, that's another one. So we got a lot more than 10 niches, almost 20, I believe. So we've got more mandalas, anatomy, anatomy coloring book, potentially another niche. So anatomy, there we go. Magical, I think we typed that down, didn't we? Yep, magical just there. So let's keep going almost at that first page or almost at the end, bees, four reviews. So I've got an OK BSR, so let's try that one, bees. Let's put that one down here. Bees. And then on to the next. Now what we're going to do is just go right down to the first page and then go back up to that first seller because we're going to start looking even more for niches. So right here, so we got that one. Beauty, horror, colouring book, numbers, letters, shapes, colours. So you could have a shape coloring book a letter coloring book so let's type a couple of them letters colors shapes so let's put shapes there we go and then we're almost at the end so let's have a quick look so we've got coffee a coffee coloring book potentially let's type that in as well coffee we're almost at eight minutes so only a couple of minutes left let's see what we can do and then we got a few more down here, but from the first page, we have already found quite a lot of niches. Now, what I would do is start off on that first page like we did, and then I'd go on to the second page and potentially third, just to see what other niches there are. Once I've done that, I'll come back to the first page and then start looking at other books by all these authors. So we just looked at this one. So let's go through. And now what I want to do is go through to their author central page. So we're going to click on this. This potentially or mainly works with people who have author centrals. And you're going to see why in just a second. But now we have a bunch more different niches, mandalas. We already wrote that down. Coloring book or baby animals. We already wrote that countryside so a countryside coloring book who would have thought so let's type that countryside then we got wildlife so wildlife that's also a wolf and it's also in the forest i think we got a forest already let's take a little look animals forest yep so we don't need to type that one and then this one's bees we just put a bee songbirds birds another niche so let's do that so let's go down to here song birds or just birds so let's do that as well all depends on what people are searching there might be people searching a song bird coloring book so that's why we've written it down beach so a beach coloring book beach what comes along with the beach summer so a summer coloring book another niche then i could go all the way through these taking a look at all these other niches and I can go through all these different pages writing those niches down so as you can see niche research really doesn't need to be that hard now why did we find people with an author central well because you can then do this so we found this seller we've now seen all the niches that they've got books in and right here on the left hand side 
we can also see customers also bought items by these authors. So now we can actually open up all of these. Jade Summer is a massive, massive author. So now we can open that up and we can have a look at all these niches as well. Then once you've done that, look on the left hand side, customers also bought items by these people. So now we have even more authors that we can go through, take a look and see what niches there are. And you can just keep doing this all day, every day, going through all these different sellers and looking at all those niches. So as you can see, just a really, really easy way to find a bunch of niches pretty fast. Now that's been around 10 minutes or just under. So let's see how many niches we got within that 10 minutes. And then I'll show you how to actually see if there's demand for these niches and how to work out whether it's an actual profitable niche. So right off the bat, we got quite a few. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 29 niches, there we go, in 10 minutes. See, that's just how easy it is. We found 29 niches. Ooh. There we go, I accidentally pressed a button. We found 29 niches in under 10 minutes. But now we have all these niches, how do we find the profitable niches within these niches or the profitable keywords within these niches? So it's pretty simple. Let's take baby animals. So let's go to all. Let's just go up to here. Let's do that again, all departments. Let's put baby animals coloring book and now we have a lot of different keywords related to the baby animals niche and in the coloring book niche so from here all i would now do is go through every single long tail keyword here using the spt chrome extension to see if it's profitable so right off the bat let's do this one baby animals coloring book for kids ages four to eight now there's ten thousand results i think i just need to turn on my chrome extension as well so let's just do this give it a second oh it's already on there we go but this isn't going to be a very good niche because there's far too many results so we can see what the Chrome extension score is in a second once it's done its thing, but this isn't going to be a very, very good niche. And now we can see that this really isn't a very good niche. It's got a score of only 14. Now, if this was a good niche, SPT Chrome extension recommends anything above 60 is a really great niche, or you can also find really great niches with a score of in between 50 and 60. And this only has a score of 14, so this wouldn't be a very good niche. So now what I'd do, just take away that, let's do that again, and then I'll just go through all the rest of these keywords to find those profitable ones. Now, not every niche is going to be profitable. This is up to you, but you can see just how fast we found all those niches but now is the boring part of actually seeing the demand, see if they're profitable, and just finding those really great keywords. So for this instance, let's go down to here. I know for a fact, if I can find it, that Unicorn has so many great keywords within this niche. So let's do this. Let's take away this, and let's just do Unicorn coloring book and now we can see look there's so many different types of keywords here that i could use for my books or i could use to actually create a book around because within here i've done it in the past i know there are quite a few profitable keywords but again now you have to go through your list 
That was the easy, fast part, finding all the niches. And now the slow, laborious part is working out whether or not they're actually profitable. But just in here, just on unicorns, we can see there's so many different types of keywords. So again, I'd click through every one of these. It would take time. But then I'm going to be able to find those profitable ones just by using the SPT Chrome extension. So that's just how easy niche research can be. Now, I did want to add some more stuff into this video using Helium 10, but I was trying to play around with Helium 10 and they're in maintenance mode. So I couldn't actually do what I wanted to do within this video because one of the cool things you can do using Helium 10 is actually take all of these keywords, go and plug them in there, and you can see the estimated search volume as well for each keyword. So again, that just helps you make better decisions. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.